doing? I'm doing really well. Yeah, you tell me what's up, what's happening. All, all good. Uh, Kavit. So, so a little about me. Uh, so I, I carry like six years of experience in recruitment, and you know I've been a part of uh, IBM, Accenture, EY. uh previously and uh, yeah i think apart from this you know i used to be someone who was an introvert so trying to be an ambivert and then trying to be an extrovert and uh, yeah i think i have been following you from quite some time and uh, an aspiring youtuber as well so that's a little about me and probably you know as in when we speak uh, you will come to know more about me and uh, no, yeah and and about yeah. you kavach uh, how how have you been and if you could let me know a bit about what you're doing now yeah i i mean i'll go in uh, chronological order so that right. uh, it's better for everyone i was uh, born in amritsar and brought up in amritsar for a bit mm-hmm. then i moved to a boarding school in mussoorie uh, so i was there for about 6 7 years okay. uh, i finished my class well there And, and then, then I moved to Kaiser uh, University in Bangalore and did BBA. Uh, post that, I did the traditional path, joined corporate. I was also in EY, so I was uh, in international taxation, but only could handle it for a year. Uh, and post that again, just like some kind of period, I was in Bahar Jaldi. I was like, okay, I need to go abroad and all of that. So I stopped for a bit, prepared for like all my GMAT, GRE, all of that, and then I uh, was looking for colleges abroad. Made it to few good colleges. Mm-hmm. And uh, then pandemic came in, mm. so that's when uh, the change of my life happened. So accidentally, I had I had met some all like very good places mm-hmm. and nothing else to do. And you know, pandemic came, so that's when I was like, and that's when I was like, okay, let me you know what else to do. Let me just experiment a little bit of content because that is what it was trending at that time. Um, so I just actually started. So started off with YouTube. Mm-hmm. And continued to do that for about two, two and a half years. I my plan was going abroad, change. I effort for a year, then dropped it off. And mm-hmm. ever since it's you know, you know, rise and shine upwards journey. So YouTube is continued growing. Try to, uh, you know, what do you call it? Distribute my content on other places like mm-hmm. LinkedIn, or uh, Jan. Uh, actively started doing it in Jan. Correct. Instagram actively started doing it in Jan 2023. So that has happened on the way. Uh, a lot of opportunities related to business came up. Correct. So did that. Mm-hmm. That's that's, that's all that has been happening. So pretty exciting for me. Great, great. So so how how did the YouTube start? Like what hit your mind that you want to start uh, YouTube? You mentioned uh, it was trending after COVID. So what really uh, in uh, What uh, really made you start YouTube? I wanted to understand that. Uh, I mean, uh, trending, uh, trending is in the on the hindsight. Okay, like, like now that I look back at it, so like that, twenty twenty maybe it's the best, the best time to start. That time there, there was no math behind it or logic. I was okay. just simply sitting at home, mm-hmm. and you know how it happens. So that I'm guys, uh, you see, you would get queries each year, like, "Kya kaise kya kya hua?" Na so ऐसे ऐसे तो वो हर साल आती थी इस साल भी आई and this time I was like, "Yeah, I'm sitting in the chair, like you know what? I'll just take a video." And you see my first video on YouTube is like phone सामने रखा हुआ है and one shot में seven minutes बोल दिया मैंने camera को देख के आटे कटे पटे कटे all of that and I have uploaded that same video up there you know and uh, to my luck like because you know the timing whatever or nobody was creating content in like on that particular college so suddenly my channel got the like the traction initial traction you know the like he they were explaining clearly he's speaking it in a nice tone and all that and then generally speaking So that happened, mm-hmm. uh, and then I was just add like one month, forty-five mm-hmm. videos. Whatever people would put in comment, I want to know about this. I would next day make a video on it and put it in same format. Wait seven minutes, five minutes. Mm-hmm. Camera ke samne dekho, one shot, put it up. So that is no hard work. Hey, you know, it's just all it. I did that. Then suddenly, yeah, uh, like after college admissions happened, then there is no views on the channel. Then you uh, know, then people like me have to start proper putting proper edit, proper shooting, proper scripting. So this day and slowly and steadily is just built to what it is. I'm I'm happy to wear it as a garment, but yeah, this is very very accidental. Okay, okay. And and how much time uh, did it take for you to get uh, monetized on YouTube? Just wanted to understand because I I was very lucky. Like I told you, within a month. Oh, I mean, okay. I did not put a lot of logic behind mm-hmm. the the our time. It was one thousand subscriber, four thousand watch hours. Correct. Uh, is all that you need. Mm-hmm. And I was like, one thousand subscriber. So, how much money will I get? Because one thousand followers on my Instagram page. You know, I used to think like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, then I was like, bloody four thousand watch hours is going to be really hard. Like four thousand watch hours. Correct. But uh, 
I had put out content, content like 45, 45 videos uh, mm. in that month. I was doing a lot of lives. Okay. Mm. Uh, so mm. lives are like one month out thing. And I had like 500, 500 people watching my life. Very uh, first year itself. So I don't know. Yeah, within a month or so, like the paycheck came in. Uh, mm. And it was very small. It still is small. But uh, I was, this is great. Yeah. So mm. for me, it was like getting that monetization bit and subscriber. It was very fast. Correct. Correct. Got it. Great. And uh, with with EY, you also mentioned you worked with EY when I was a part of EY. So, so why why did you leave EY, Coach? Yeah, I mean, uh, honestly speaking, a lot of factors came in. Uh, first one was that I had a very beautiful college life, which was full of like fun and frolic. And suddenly setting into a corporate structure, and this is pre-pandemic. Like work from home as a concept also did not exist. And it was like, you know, you have to sit with the managers and bosses, they're also in the same place. The moment you wake up, like, you know, get up from your seat, they're going to look at you and ask, and uh, all such things. So that was one factor. So probably the environment at EY was not what I was looking for. Uh, along with that, I would say, just like I wasn't getting self-actualized, you know. Like I wasn't feeling very happy. I thought that I can do way better in my life uh, okay. with the, uh, you know what I can do. So probably that's when I decided. But it was like, okay, because I'm looking for a career abroad, so I need to get it on my resume. So let me just stretch as much as uh, that I can. But that, I mean, this is an initial thought. About after six months or so, I kind of also adjusted to that environment because then I got my try and it just knew me. But like, get this kind of a person, and he's like, whenever you want to work, you work, but you cannot like, you know, micromanage him. Otherwise, he'll get pissed. So. Initially, none of that understanding was there. It got in by the time that I was leaving. But by that time, I had already made up my mind. Otherwise, it looked jada, but yeah. Right. Got it. And... Uh... Okay, and uh, like there are a lot of freshers, uh, you know, who, who are there on LinkedIn. Or there would be people, uh, you know, who are using LinkedIn or probably they don't know how to use LinkedIn. So, also a lot of college people, someone who's doing their graduation, you know, who might be watching this live video. So, what would be uh, your suggestion to them? Because I was watching your videos, you mentioned uh, about, I think, few of your mistakes which you did in your college and, you know, which people could avoid. So, what are some tips you would give college students uh, or probably you would you know, give them suggestions on how to prepare for the corporate world or the content world? Yeah, yeah I mean, both, both of, of it. it. Uh, hmm. As far as like these college going kids are concerned and life on LinkedIn, uh, the, the most important thing is like, please consider LinkedIn as a platform, platform not just for finding jobs and internships, but to personal brand yourself. yourself. You know, again, I, I jumped on this game very, very late. Uh, oh, like yeah. January 2020. Yeah. By, By that, that time, time, like the early boomers had already created an amazing space for themselves, and I'm just looking like had I started this also in 2020, which was by the way advice to me by my seniors. You know, I just did not follow it. I was so much in my own zone, and I was like, my YouTube is going really well, and they told me, get on it on Instagram, get on it on LinkedIn, and I was like, no, no, you know, YouTube is going really well, and let me just continue doing that. But now that in the hindsight, again, I look at it, I feel. If, if I would have used this platform to personal brand mm-hmm. myself, mm-hmm. that would be really good. That time the only question I had about LinkedIn was the only role there for those who want to find jobs or yeah. find people and mm-hmm. you know, look at internships. So for undergrads or graduates who are looking and like listening to us right now, the first thing that they need to do is look LinkedIn beyond platform mm-hmm. just to find jobs and internships and look at personal brand. Build your connects. Uh, I think one of the things again I started following is try connecting with one person every day. I know it's really hard, but mm. this, and definitely for uh, boys, just try to reach out to a girl thinking he randomly can't say But whichever finds in your suit of wherever you are headed in life, whether it's education you want to build, or personal brand, or marketing, or finance, reach out to one person every day and try giving out the connect. You know, uh, you'll be lucky if they can get on a call with you or something, but pair them, you know, drop them a message, uh, let them know what you're doing, and ask them whenever possible, let's connect. So, so I think that's the second thing that I would really advise them to do. Correct. So uh, is again paradoxical, but hmm. uh, please try building connects in your own college, school that you are in. One of the things again, that is that I I mean being on the ground, keeping my eyes on the ground and seeing that uh, they are not connecting with people offline. You know, they, they are in this amazing zone of being in college, being around sixty people in the class, two thousand, three thousand people in this college, but everybody's just so busy socially uh, that they are not in time with their batchmates and a lot of them companies saying that no we, we don't find quality of our batchmates 
and just like good editing sitting in the same boat you will find their quality 5 7 years down the line not right now you know i mean in college everybody is just trying to hone their skills so please do that i think these are a couple of things that i would definitely like to do right exactly exactly even i have done this mistake you know uh, in college i used to be like act very cool and you know uh, not attend classes and I I realize it now that you know I should have at least spoken to people probably you know network with people but I've I've started doing it now I in fact uh, you know tried uh, connecting with a lot of my uh, colleagues from my college and uh, spoke spoke to them you know uh, so I'm getting a lot of insights from them so I think that is really important we we don't realize it during college and I think it's it's only later during our uh, life we you know probably realize that so so people who are watching you could you know if you are still in college you guys could probably you know connect with people who are in your class or it be in your college so that'll be really really helpful and uh, coming to the content part uh, how which i i attended one of this events recently nas summit were you there in that uh, event by any chance no no i wasn't there but i came to know about it after i mean i was not in lando any days so i couldn't have attended that right? but uh, a few of my editors were there to baad mein when you were saying they were telling this happened that happened you know all of that so yeah tell me tell me what are your insights of that so uh, i think there was one thing which uh, i think uh, the host were telling is uh, about the content uh, creation journey uh, it could be for video creators as well that uh, it's a very really ro- lonely journey that uh, you you might not have uh, people around you making content so initially uh, you know it would be a really difficult so it would be better you uh, try to look for people or it could be uh, people from your uh, uh, same uh, niche it could be video creators or whatever try connecting with them because they would understand you better so i i felt that yes uh, in a way because uh, i I've, i've just started uh, creating videos it's been around 6 uh, months and i started my journey from ey itself so uh so what are your thoughts about this do you think content is uh, it could be in terms of video creation do you think it's a very lonely journey or how is it coverage you you wouldn't believe it uh, last, last month when i was in bangalore okay we were going out for a shoot my co sitting with me same editor that i tell you he attended the last summit and he asked me the same question that you know kavya Uh, I think we've been working for about two years now. I never asked you this, but I heard it that day. I was just thinking about too. You know how is it? Is only journey for you? What do you feel about it? Because you know, on the camera when you are, you know, we we shooting, you you are full of energy all the time. But how is it? You know, I think yeah, and I have honestly that it is a lonely journey. Like it is very lonely. Like you are in your own cocoon. Somehow I obviously have chosen this path for myself. So I know late at night I'm going to turn the lights on, camera on, shoot, and you know. All the hard work, the heat, and all the energy out there, but it it is a lonely job. Like now, I miss my EY days because you know it's there is a child break and then there is morning you know day high hello and then a Friday beers and all of those things. Now I don't have that. You know, even if I have a team of my own, everybody is just so much just for one guy sitting in Goa, the other is in Bangalore, and all of that. So it is a lonely journey, and you cannot really do much about it other than what the advice that you gave is that please connect with people from your Feel or uh, do not consider them as competition, and please collaborate with them. Not I'm not telling people to collaborate on videos and videos and you know all that. It's not everybody's cup of tea to do that. But uh, I mean, just talk to them because they can relate to you on another level. The other day, I was on a call with an 18-year-old uh, influencer. You know how that happened is her real daughter. I commented like how we tag our friends and that, and she just was saying that I watch your videos and today you're commenting on my videos. So great, and I was like, "Let's okay, get on." We talk for an hour, like there's age gap, you know, like there's a seven, eight year age gap, but it did not feel like it was so relatable. Correct. You know, we were talking about it, and then the shoot, and this audio training, and all of that, and it just felt so great. I mean, I have a bunch of my my friends here, but uh, I mean, if I ask them to any click a like the picture for me, and they like, "I have to link the picture," and then it's famous, and they have to, you know, all of that. I never have pictures of my own. But whenever yeah. you are out with your influencer friends, it's just so common. I mean, to me, like, I can't do it. You know, you want me to shoot for you, I do that. You want me to, so, so I think it's it's good. Like you understand that um, mm-hmm. it's just so much better. And uh, no hard feelings to my friends. I mean, they'll keep pulling my leg always. But uh, yeah, I think you have to find your own pride in this field. Otherwise, it's just very hard. 
correct correct totally uh, agreed and uh, also uh, i think we might have uh, some questions in the chat uh, probably we could take it up uh, sometime later during this uh, this live session and uh, and also one uh, another interesting yeah, thing how, how, when can you one, just a second when can you see people who are watching on all of this like let me know that yeah uh i think if if uh, i've made this post uh, i think under that post you'll be able oh, to see it, under the comment oh, yeah yeah, yeah. Huh. yeah I, i can see that. that you can see it right so and i'm just yes. trying to figure out uh, uh how many comments yeah. are okay, okay i can, I can see, see that, that. hmm Uh, now, so Vedant, right now, where are you based out? I'm in Bangalore itself, uh, Kavach, based okay. out of uh, Bangalore, and uh, even I'm trying to get into this space of uh, video creation, and. Uh, to be honest uh, you know i i was someone who's being uh, willing to create videos on youtube for a very long time so so i i was someone who was you know very influenced by bollywood so i wanted to make uh, <laughs> comedy kind of videos entertainment but then i don't know what changed i thought you know everyone is making uh, comedy videos and all i i wanted to educate people i wanted to you know add value uh, into their lives so i thought instead of doing comedy i'll probably just uh, start making videos on whatever uh, you know i've done in, in my career of the 6 years of uh, experience so you know i just started out and uh, again even that was a, a, another story with when i was with ey uh, i was on a contract with them so they said that you know we will not be extending your contract because of the you know market conditions and you know i i got really pissed off because of that i was like Oh shit! What should I do now? I didn't have any other plans in mind, so I went on uh, LinkedIn and I just created a video saying that I'm getting laid off, and uh, that video, uh, I don't know. Uh, I think it was a very bad decision of mine. Uh, so everyone in my team and the whole EY saw my video that you know I'm getting laid off. They called me. Uh, my contract was. Uh, getting over i think two or three months after you know uh, the current date but uh, after seeing this video they asked me to leave on that same uh, you know exact day itself so i couldn't uh, survive there so i i have not said this to many people that i got fired because of that but that's the actual truth so after that i came to know that there were any I was expecting a different twist. I thought that they'll call you in the office and they're like, "We are really sorry, and you know now it's not two or three months left. You have uh, infinite amount of time, but ये तो अलग ही हो गया." Correct. It was unexpected, but uh, one good thing is, uh, I I think uh, corporate in a way it's it's a trap according to me. I I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, what what are your thoughts? Do you think corporate is a trap nine to five? uh no i didn't consider it to be a trap i think like to each to his own uh you know and then never you choosing a career path it is just not about you yourself right it's not about your background what you do what your parents do uh, which city you come from what kind of a financial condition you go into what kind of career trajectory or back like back education wise you have so i think there it's an amalgamation of all the factors uh, and Yeah, honest, I think for a few people, it's good that they're in jobs. Hmm. Like if they come out in the other world, which is to fetch on their own, for them it can be hard. So I know people who will perform exceptionally well uh, being in a corporate environment, and then there are for a few people, it corporate is just not made for them. Somehow, uh-huh. some of them still have to pass on their lives into that considering the situation in my mind. But the older ones come out of it and try to get things out on their own. And some of them do well, some of them are average, some of them are like getting figured it out. But I think yeah, to each to his own. I cannot like tell that it's a trap. But if you are one of those who is considering that it's a trap, then it is actually a trap. You know, so the earlier you come out, the better it is. Correct, exactly. So I, uh, so the reason why I feel it's a trap is. Uh, because because i am from a gujarati family and most of our family members are into businesses i i hardly know any anyone from my uh, community who is into a job 
so i'm i'm one of them one of them so whenever i go to functions uh you know there's there's at least one cousin who comes up and says kyu kar raha hai bhai job business kar lena khud ka i was like so i am like so frustrated with this so i was like theek hai chalo i so in fact i'm trying to work on that as well so that's why i started content so that content is not the only thing so after ey i tried a lot of things i'm you know i was trying to explore trying to experiment tried uh, uh, my hand in freelancing then i don't know podcasting then i don't know what not trading so i was like theek hai chalo we'll we'll give it an experiment phase and uh, i think so obviously my long term plan is not to stick on to a corporate probably start something on my own so youtube is one of them and uh, yeah probably let's see if if there's any uh, organization which i can build build off my own so in in the process let's see uh, what what happens yeah, uh, rome rome is not built in a day uh and i'm glad i mean first of all your good jati to wo to business karna hai manta hai like you know, that's there and uh, glad and your cousins who are walking up to you and telling you that it's it's very important that you understand that you made for big Hmm. Had you been surrounded by corporate people, uh, hmm. you would just be in a very comfort zone, thinking, "Yeah, he be job kar raha hai, he be job kar raha hai, yeah, pay wo dekho, senior partner ban gaya, wo manager ban gaya, that's my part." But now that you know that others around you have done something uh, beyond, and that's what you have to do. Uh, but again, it's not going to be easy. Like for everybody, you know, everybody starts from zero. I had zero subscribers, I had zero followers on something, and then uh, it just grows on like that. So, what's the journey there? Yeah. And uh, hmm. I'm glad that you were in this space. You're very openly telling about it. People shy. फ्यूचर लेट सी वॉट है instead you know i i yeah. would have a mindset yeah i uh, honestly tell you uh, mm. it is like what, what others say you have to listen to yourself, yourself. and, and what, what you're doing, doing is fine, fine. like mm. you know there, there is, is like again you know, this tunnel how much time, time it takes is obviously your, your journey, journey. Mm. but uh, which shy, i don't shy away from doing it like if you don't do this mm. you again will get back to that corporate that same paycheck you know uh, every now and then that x 10% hike and all those things i mean i can go and talk about it i'm just trying to be very politically correct so yeah <laughs> got it and uh, okay uh, we'll come to uh, uh, the college students uh, and uh, you know a little about them uh, i think in in one of my last calls uh, you know i i was talking about uh, or we were discussing about uh, clarity regarding uh, you know the choosing of the career for college students so i have faced that and i believe many people uh, you know would face this like choosing a career So, do you have any advice there, Kavach? Uh, how how one can choose a career? Yeah, yeah I, I think similar to what I was telling you. Hmm. For them also, it's hard for experimentation that you have to do. In today's time, the best part, Fazal, is that we are in a very growing, urban environment, right? So, whatever you put your hand into, and if you work really hard into that, you will eventually end up doing well if you are putting your heart and soul into it. But once you end up doing well, growing from there is very hard. Because mm-hmm. once you're in that league, that okay, you know, XYZ is doing well, I'm doing well, and there's so many others who takes the next step for the fact your passion really counts, mm-hmm. you know. And for that, that you really need to really, like, to each and every one listening out there, you really need to excel. Just the only problem with people around us that we are getting carried away with so much information that we have suddenly, you know, a figure like a crore ka package and this and that and uh, travel, life of travel. Um, all of this fascinates us to another level that we end up making decisions based on that, which really cannot be true. Like I, I talk to people who are like yeah, consulting, can you just because it's a lot more, and you get to travel a lot. But I mean, if you really go ask 
but in three years, four years down the line, traveling is the thing that they hate the most. You know, it's more like been there, done that. Now every flight is like a pain in the ass for them. So you really need to understand whether you build for it or not. Just don't get tied up with that. Oh, data science has you know one crore uh, package. Let me go do that. Such things are not there. You know, you will get name, fame, money, every from every place. Uh, it's just you have to figure it out. And uh, I think best thing, best time that you have is again 18 to 21, 22 years of age because you know you are done the traditional path of education. You have these years. When you are just free to experiment, the college years. So just put your hands out and please participate in the college events. Fairs, I mean, reach out to people, network. Uh, just volunteer. Like raise your hands for every goddamn thing, you know. And then see, maza aaye ki nahi aaye. See, you will start figuring it out. Correct, correct. So I think during college, uh, I think it's really important. Uh, though I missed missed out on this part. Uh, are there any like suggestions on on in terms of the skills? Uh, so I I've been hearing this that you know uh, uh, during college uh, you know try to build one skill and you know work on that. So what do you think? Is it is it uh, true according to you or how is it, Kavach? Yes, I mean it, it is, is kind, kind of moving to that. that. When, when I was in college, it was more like uh, try gaining each and every skill possible. Mm-hmm. After, After that, that, also few skills are OG skills, skills which are going to be there relevant forever for, for life. life. Mm-hmm. But Rather than, than being a generalist, we are yeah, moving to an environment where you need to be a master of one. You know, because, because eventually you need to make money out of it. Uh, yeah. You cannot make money out of just for the fact that this guy is a sanity school. Hmm. You know, uh, it's very hard. You need to be doing really good, whether it's digital marketing or copywriting or content writing or video shooting, video editing, uh, journalist, being a journalist, anything. For that matter, but that one skill or one thing that you need to follow, up go. We've come to that path where that doesn't happen. See, we are anyway being very honest. We copy a lot of things from the West. West also went through a similar scenario, and that there had there was a in uh, people and paychecks that happened there, where people started realizing their hourly value, and you know one body company was good at uh, again you know, video editing, the other body was good at petroleum, the other body was good at uh, making like giving talks, and people started monetizing off that. You know, mm-hmm. so also I think now, see, OG skills wise, you need to have really good communication skills. That's a must. Mm-hmm. Everybody needs to have a personal brand of their own. That's mm-hmm. a must. Mm-hmm. But other than that, you need to pick out on that one skill and just own it up. Absolutely. Correct, correct. So I think uh, people would be like really confused. I don't know what what to choose. So you know, I say them that you know you have to experiment. You have to explore. Uh, no you can try exploring uh, if there's something which interests you or even if you've not done that try to experiment and once you experiment is when you would know uh, whether you're liking it or not so that could be uh, one thing and uh, and and yeah another question which which i had uh, kavach is regarding uh, motivation and uh, discipline so i <laughs> was someone who would get motivated a lot uh, during college uh, so if there's some some speaker who's coming and you know they're talking about something you i had that energy for like one or two days or even three days and then i don't know what happened suddenly i was like theek hai ab kya ho gaya i'm i'm not getting that energy that thing and then i later i realized that uh, there's something called a discipline also so what are your thoughts uh, do you do you believe in motivation uh, what is it Not, uh, I don't believe in motivation now. To be honest, I mean, I go to so many of these colleges. I myself give a lot of these talks. I hate to call them motivational talks. I just don't do that. Uh, you know, it's, it's just like one-on-one sessions that I have with these students, where it's more like you know, getting their curiosity up. Uh, I think that is all that I can do. I think that is all. I think any teacher or mentor in today's time can do. If today you and I think that we can act cool and impress people, we are like pathetically wrong. Uh, how I see this now is that there is something called as borrowed energy, and this is uh, something called inbuilt energy. So borrowed energy is what you and probably when I was in college, होता था कि एक बंदा आया fascinating लग रहा है लग रहा है कल से सब कुछ करेंगे एक दो दिन होता है पांच छह दिन होता है then you're back to your normal you know routine. That is borrowed energy. We were trying to travel on that energy of that one person. You know, if somebody is looking at us today, giving a bit of maybe motivated by us, uh, that's a borrowed energy. But then, But then there is something, something called an inbuilt energy, which you have when either a bad event or a serious mm-hmm. thing or like, like a break up or you know somebody passing by at home or you just suddenly realizing that shit, I'm very behind, I'm very behind, I'm very behind. Any of those serious events 
gets you built that mm. in built energy and that, that is something that there and go that gets you get you this trust me when if i tell you you know for example tomorrow you have to wake up at 5 am in the morning and you do this 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 from 10 days on your life is successful you will do it towards you guys after that you will not see me again but, but if something happens you know uh, let's like say to give an example you meet one of your college people hmm. who was pathetic when he was in college and suddenly today is built an empire for himself jo tera kam hal hoga that will get you to work on your own thing like that you know i am very very honest it's in built no gym trigger can different for everybody yes i don't want to say if some serious strategy in your family can only get you to do that but any you know it just can make you off something like that i have a family going to play and around me there were two consultants husband and wife hmm. and you know both sat together they opened up their macbook started writing on ppt one was working on their career p you know pp on their thing one was working on their career the other was doing in pharma uh, and airports you know uh, apple watch things are like what those were very i was fascinated by that yeah unse maine baat nahi ki par mujhe pata tha what they are doing i was like i want to like for myself you know like i need to work hard so i can own this thing And you know, very good clothes. And at least ten days after that, I was in that discipline of doing right. things. So trivia is going to be different for everybody else. But getting right. that insight is very important. You know, and, and once, once you do that, that like the mm-hmm. sky is the limit. correct so i i like the perspective uh, you know i i got a different perspective of how you see things and uh, yeah. also uh, there's something which i learned now and uh, as i learned something you know again i just want to uh, understand how uh, or how important learning is in in one's life coach uh, according to you yeah i think uh, if you start learning, learning you start growing like as mm-hmm. simple as that you know Uh, okay. I will be very honest with you, and I tell you that there are some times in my life that I have stopped learning just because I feel like I can't read it. I'm pretty good, but things are great. But then every now and then life shows you the mirror that boss is a very long way ahead. So you have to get back to learning. You have to get back to experimenting and trying your hands out at different. And I think that is just life. Like you know, you the only thing I think Kunal Shah once said it in in a talk or somewhere. You only need to have curiosity in your life. Forget mm-hmm. about IIT, your marks, your parents, and that their richness and all those things. As long as you're curious as an individual, you are great. And I think so. I've followed that a lot. Like people are like you know they get annoyed by sitting there. I keep asking them question after question. Hmm. It starts off initially by their personal life, but कहाँ से पढ़ा क्या क्या लगे? In my head also, I was like, I need to ask him where did you do your where did you do your do your college? Did you do your college? So it's just curiosity in my head. And, and I think people need to have, have that, that always. So I think that, that is that bit of learning. And I think once you enjoy it, once you you automatically end up learning something. Correct, correct, exactly. I think curiosity. Even I've I've been following Kunal Shah. I think he he has like. He even I follow his talks. He he speaks really brilliant. He I I love his perspectives, and uh, yeah I I I love watching you know such uh, you know videos and all, and I in fact uh, like uh, you know talking about entrepreneurship about businesses how they work, and also the next uh, next question is regarding uh, I think you you are also a co-founder. I think you are running your own company. Yeah. So how how did that start, uh, Kavach? I'd like to ask. Uh, there are two things right now. Like one is the one that I started a couple of years back. We are into our home decor as a space. Uh, so that was something. But I'm also in the middle of launching something else. Uh, super soon. That's going to happen. Like hopefully, fingers crossed, in a month or so is when we release it to the public. But that's also an exciting space. Uh, both the spaces, like the one that has already been built. Uh, it was actually my mother who was doing it at a very smaller scale. Uh, but, but then, then I joined it, and we hmm. took it to a different level uh, in terms of again branding and you know putting it out there, getting more retail space, taking it online, all of that. So that journey is going really well. Uh, and again, the home decor space is growing. The country people are buying homes. People want to decorate their homes now. Uh, so it's a good space, and let's see how far we can take it. Sure, sure. All all the best uh, for that, uh, Kavach. Yeah. And. Uh... Okay, let's see if if we've got uh, questions. Let's see if we can uh, take up a uh, few questions, if possible. Because I don't have anything in mind right now. I'm a little blank. I think Shridhar has a question. So Shridhar, you can ask the question. No, you can uh, take up the question. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, we can invite them here. No, no, no. Yeah, I mean, just write the question. I'll take it up. Like, huh? Sure, sure. Shridhar, you can ask the question. Yeah, 
Shitrit has written that uh, I have a question. I don't know if he's online yet, but let's see. End result is important to be obtained or the show must go on? Is this the, the question? question? That's the question, yeah. I think. Can you come again? I, I did not hear it properly. Uh, it's uh, end end result is important to be obtained or the show must go on? The show must go on 100% and I think Fezan, you also agree with me. We all are work in progress. Like, you know, no matter uh, we listen to Kunal Shah today or, uh, you know, anybody that you aspire to be, each one of us is having our own journey and everybody is a work in progress. Yes, mm. at the stage that you are listening to them, they might come off as they are better than you or in a better space than you and definitely they work hard to be there but they are Chasing another target, you know, so more important than the destination, it, I think it's always about uh, the journey. So the show must go on like 110% always. You never know what you're just trying to uh, do, be achieved, but uh, just be where you are and just keep at it. Correct, exactly. Mm. Jishin Kataria is saying, uh, you both are doing a great job, keep doing it. Thank you so much, Jishin, means a lot. Uh, I am totally fascinated by you and what you do, so uh, kudos to that. Great, great. I think Drishti was there in, in one of my previous uh, live events. So I think she's she's a 17 years old. I think she's just in college. She's doing it and I, to be honest, I've been lucky enough to uh, meet her personally. I met her in, uh, okay. uh, in LPO and Jalandar. And, and I, the moment she told me that she was 17, hmm. and that was the same when I was sending her a connection request on LinkedIn. Like literally, this flow just went. I, I confirmed it. Like, are you actually 17? But she's amazing. She's doing really well. And you know, people need to watch out for her. Uh, I think she's going to blow up. Like, you know, she's going to be amazing. Absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, I spoke to her. Uh, she brings in a lot of uh, energy, a lot of knowledge with, you know, just being 17 years old. So, I think she has a really bright future, according to me. No, definitely, yeah. <laughs> great, great. And also, uh, you know, I, I was, while going through your videos, I, I saw, you know, I saw that uh, you, you've been putting a lot of videos related to Christ University. So, you know, being in Bangalore, uh, you know, I'll just give you my perspective about uh, Christ University. So that's, I think that's one of the most renowned uh, universities in Bangalore. So I think uh, in my network, at least, you know, people would be like, you know, I want to get into Christ. I want to, you know, get into Christ University. You know, it's it's one of the renowned university. Uh, but then, you know, I didn't get a chance to even, you know, uh, probably apply for Christ. But there might be people uh, who might be aspiring to, you know, get into Christ University. So as as you've been there, uh, what what's the criteria, and you know, what do you think uh, would help them to get into Christ uh, coverage according to you? Uh, I think, for example, like uh, criteria wise, as long as you shortlist on your course, you majorly match the criteria. Uh, you need to go through a process, which is an entrance test, an interview, a micro presentation. Uh, and, and once, once you clear through all of that, that, you will get selected. So your uh, previous baggage, we call it, like your marks and all don't really matter hmm. uh, as long as you are following their process of entrance test, interview and micro presentation, um, you will majorly make it through. And uh, in order for you to prepare well, I mean, uh, you need to go to my YouTube channel. Honestly hmm. speaking, I think that I have a lot of uh, content, not only for Christ, but for a lot of other colleges also in terms of preparation strategies, free material. Uh, all of that. So please prepare well if you want to make it to price. And um, yeah, I mean, it's doing really well. So uh, might as well get a good time. Great, great. So I think I'm running out of questions. So I'm just thinking, what do I uh, ask next? Uh, okay, I think about challenges I could ask. Uh, oh, what are the challenges you faced, uh, Kavach, uh, while you were uh, into content? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So, so I mean, in terms of challenge one, so I think we've discussed it in detail. Yeah, it's about, uh, and I have realized it now, like not, not, I've not initially, initially you were in the zone of creating content and putting it out there. So you don't realize it, but now I definitely feel like it's a very lonely journey. So okay. getting people of the same circuit around you is very important. That's number one. The other challenge is always around money, right? Because uh, there is no fixed check that is coming or dropping by each month. Uh, and there are there are times where you're putting in so much effort, but nothing is happening. There is no engagement, there is no conversion, uh, there is no growth in terms of followership. So you have to go through that, and the cycles are very depressing. 
you know, uh, if they really question your being out there, like there are times that I just feel I could have done anything else. Why the hell am I putting out myself so much out on social media? And uh, you know, sometimes it makes your heart to see very less views and uh, all of that. So uh, I think that is another very like challenging part. The third is the hate around, right? Like uh, if you are like out there and you've been doing it for a while, so you are just trying to get hate. Or whether it's about your physical appearance, sometimes can be about your family, sometimes can be about what you do, uh, and uh, like it just bothers. Like you know, I still haven't achieved that zen zone where uh, mm. things don't matter to me. They do so. I read every comment that's out there, and sometimes people are brutal, right? Like it's just it's just hard to digest it in. So I think these are a couple of challenges that I face. So yeah, I mean, getting through it just like anybody else, and uh, I just. You know, like the only teaching thought I had is that people have had it much worse, you know, uh, yeah. than me. Whether it's I'm like Alia, my daughter, Karan Johar, and all of those people, like the bigger stage that you are in, the worse it gets. So I'm just like, okay, yeah, I mean, it's part of the like I thought about it before putting myself out there. Now that I'm there, uh, right. you know, part of the process. Great, great, and and what what do you think about collaboration? Uh, you know, in the, in the initial phases, uh, in in terms of video creation. How important do you think is collaboration? Because that's something even I'm trying to do. So, what do you think is uh, like? What do you think collaboration uh, is important? It it, it is, is definitely, definitely important, important, but uh, you, you need, need to, to get, get in collaboration, collaboration with the right, right mindset. Hmm. I, I think, think that, that is not really happening. People get, get in collaboration with wrong expectations. They just feel that if it's 15,000, 50,000, 50 lakh followers, then I'm going to collaborate with them. Certainly, my life will boom. Mm-hmm. It, uh, I I have not seen that happening for me. You know, I'll be very honest with you. Mm-hmm. Uh, more collaborations should happen on a personal level, mm-hmm. where you genuinely connect with the person, and then you collaborate with them. So I think it turns out to be better when you know the personal person personally. With you know their journey, you know uh, what kind of mutual content you can put out there. I think that is where is more satisfying than rather than just talking people and thinking, "Yeah, I need to get followers and this kind of stuff." That's not enough. Like you know, your if your motive of getting uh, to me or to anybody else, like for this podcast, would be that if people follow us, then it becomes a mere life. Will that happen? But you're just like you know, you done your work. You've watched my videos before, all of that. This is what I genuinely want to know me, rather than forget about how people are watching and all of that. So I think that is there. Actually, that you cannot ride on somebody else's road. I don't think so. That correct, correct, and. Uh... there is another perspective which which i see i would also like to uh, you know learn from you from your thoughts as well uh, regarding this uh, so this one thing uh, which i observed is uh, creating opportunities in and around you so earlier you know i i i never uh, you know gave it uh, or i never knew about this that you know i could uh, just talk to people and create opportunities so it could be with any person so what what do you think about this uh, what are your perspectives about creating opportunities uh, kavaj i 100% believe this because uh, i have seen the magic of this happening in my life uh, and i will person sponsor this because in today's time every third person is creating content every third person is personal branding i told personal branding also for the very few people who are still not doing it but other than that everybody's smart enough to figure it out i mean this is 17 years old if she can do it then uh, then i'm pretty sure there's somebody else who's already doing it and hurting so uh, that is there but then the important part is like you know it's not important to be the best it's important to be the best known you know so you need to like me people like my talk on srcc like when which i did was just one person connect that i had with the person on uh, linkedin simply that otherwise it's very hard for people to discover me right or forget about good content bad content sabka sabko sabka content acha hi lagta hai and everybody can never put out any like that it's a big little piece or a full fledged long form youtube video anybody is putting their heart and soul into it so i don't want to judge on that but it is just people should know you like people should know your story and that is where building those personal connections is very important so that people should know who you are simple as that otherwise you know that's why you know right reach out to one person every it's very important Otherwise, people, people are so busy in their own offices, in their own zone, building their own thing that they don't care about who is doing what. Like you know, I go to colleges sometimes, and you know, their team is sitting with me, and they're like, "Oh, you know this person, you know that person, who's coming on and what the chances are, and and literally all their questions and answers I don't know. And they're like, "How lost is this person?" But such a many people, yeah. You know, the kind of thing, you know, just so busy in your own life. 
So please, I mean, more important is more than collaboration, more than anything is connection. Build connection. Share so simple. I I I mean, you know how awkward it sounds. Past five seven days I've done that. Like legit every single day I've reached out to one person. Uh, even to girls, like you know. Because it's like I thought, like okay, I'm not uh, comfortable with sharing a number. Can you get on an email? Uh, and you know, no, no, no. I just generally want to share inside. And people will get on a call. We will talk, laugh, build connections, and okay, go get back to them. So there is no exchange, but there is no hidden agenda that is there. But simple build connections. Great, great. So, so uh, uh, in in your current situation, from uh, where you are right now. what do you think uh, would be one or two or it could be more than two skills uh, or things that uh, made you successful uh, kavaj what do you think are the skills okay from my journey i think so definitely number one is going to be communication skills uh, i need money of my talking whether this hmm. was youtube video or hmm. whatever it is communication and interpersonal skills are number one skills hmm. please like hold that as much as possible i think the other skill i don't know if you call it skill or not is but being genuine or being mm-hmm. authentic that comes in the right way so whatever that skill is called now people have to go figure it out but i think not trying to copy someone mm-hmm. um i think that is a skill that you need to have because otherwise life is hard simple i think we have to try to be honest with with ourselves uh, or probably with with the per- person we are talking to i think that's that's really important instead of copying uh, others i think not everyone's question paper is is the same i think uh, everyone has a different yeah, yeah. not you know not everyone's uh, past is the same not everyone's journey is going to be the same everybody's got their own set of baggages this high can be start you know specifically in india there's a lot of competitive environment hmm. obviously it has to do with the population that we are in but uh, i think the more you understand that everybody's journey is going to be so damn different uh, you just Okay, more of building connections and collaborations rather than competing with them. You know, so Correct. I think that is what people should follow. Yeah. Correct. Exactly. And uh, recently, you know, I've I've just started a community or or a group where you know I'm just trying to connect dots with uh, HRs and job seekers. So that's something I'm trying to do. Also, you know, future in the future probably I'm trying to also host meetups where you know. from the 6 years of experience or you know from the 6 years whatever uh, hrs or the recruiters i know my friends i try to uh, call in uh, or ask them to just uh, be a part of the meetup and if possible if they're getting candidates well and good so i'm just trying to build uh, something on those lines and uh, <clears throat> so my question here is regarding networking so i have uh, realized uh, i think in in one of my last events it was a sales workshop i just wanted to be a better sales person so i was like theek hai chalo let's let's just attend this workshop and i came to know that uh, people uh, just by networking or by just attending such networking events they are getting clients could be freelancers or it could be businesses they are getting clients they are getting uh, earnings from that so i think there is a lot of potential there and that's how i started as like theek hai i'll also just start you know uh, one of this networking groups and probably i'm doing a virtual connects but a, a live meetup is, is something i'm trying to plan so w- what do you think is the power of networking according to you uh, kavach do you have any thoughts there any perspectives yeah correct for that to only for me to say anything or like mm-hmm. make, make a very bold statement but honestly i think the future is community is right mm-hmm. uh, you have your own community so, so what, what you are doing, doing it's amazing, amazing. Like, like this is where future lies uh Yeah, yeah, like how the quality of the community again depends on what hard work, how much hard work you put, like get these people together, and then how you leverage it will make will decide eventually the money that you make and all of that. Uh, but yes, I think it's very important. I just did not realize it for the first two years of my life that I was creating content just for my home. But ever since I started setting out, hmm. it has just worked wonders for me. Like I told you, you know, it's just one connect and getting to talk, to, like getting to speak in SRCC. the yeah, other connect and going somewhere else to do that it's just purely on a network basis on a community basis uh, because so many people are amazing work how do you end up knowing these people or getting connected to them uh, and then we need catches people like you all to do it uh, for us you know so uh, you more like good quality people you bring in let's exchange ideas share meet people personally like the only thing i think ai can not replace the bond of a person connect right it just that's something i am never able to do yes eventually you start with both 
because it's easier, it's comfortable, comfortable for people. Uh, nobody, nobody wants to step out, out you know, take a cab, go to a place, sit in the cafe, not knowing what to expect. But right. suddenly, once you build like the ecosystem around it, I think that is where the future lies. So, yeah, kudos on that. Please, like, Thank putting you. in as much effort as definitely. Definitely, Kavach, I will. And uh, do you have any in- interesting stories about your life which you'd like to share with, with the audience? Yeah, I mean, I am full of stories. Uh, being a storyteller, like, but you need to uh, ask me something specific. Otherwise, what the stories to carry? Yeah, like, it's just, everything is a story. Ach, I'll try to be specific. Uh, uh, okay, so I, I had a realization in my life. Okay, I, I started reading books. So that was one right. of the learning journeys for me. That's how I started right. learning, you know, through books. Uh, but later I realized you can also learn from people. So that was one of the, you know, one of my stories. So if you've got any questions or any thoughts in mind, you could probably yeah, tell I mean, story. I am trying to follow that simple logic again, with the, again, the same thing that I told you about reaching out to one person every day. It is simply about sharing insights. I have whatever my, a lot of my performance that has come or changes that I've made, uh, hmm. with the things that were going wrong, simply take one day advice. I could listen to that, I changed it, and I can see what was happening. Like a lot of my LinkedIn growth, I was like I told you, I met Dishti also there, uh, who was meeting these people in the offline for a LinkedIn influence, our conference, and we were just exchanging ideas, knowing that we should do this, we should do this, we should do this, and ever since I started doing all that was being told or we talked about, hmm. it's doing really well for me. So okay, it's way better. Like, like this is this concept again. I saw it in Bangalore only back in 2015, 2016. Mm-hmm. So it's a famous thing, but now I think I'm pretty sure it's become better. It's called Google mm-hmm. Library. So you know, uh, the same concept. Rather than watching a movie or reading a novel, mm-hmm. just get there for one hour time, or sit mm-hmm. with somebody one hour. Go to like and see what they teach you. What they teach you, what they teach you. You will just walk back as a better person. So try to not as as many gates as possible, meeting as many people as possible. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's your level. Great, great. <clears throat> I think I also uh, just just this thing came into my mind. I think a uh, few days back I was reading. I think about uh, one of your posts. I'm not sure. Uh, I think some rapido person. Uh, I think he identified you, and uh, I think you guys had a connect. And uh, yeah. like what what happened? Yeah. What did? That's that's a story. I mean, I mean, just a second, Fezan. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Yes, uh, Fezan. Yeah. Sorry for that. <clears throat> no uh, yes, yeah, so that story is epic, right? Like, mm. I wake up in Bangalore. I was in Bangalore in Port Mangla and I had to go to this Vasant Nagar area. Uh, mm. So, another 15, uh, 15 kilometers journey in Bangalore, mm. it's about 40 45 water mm. minutes. I was like, let me book a rapid door. I booked up this rapid door and some is a scooter. Aaya, and suddenly, this guy's like, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm like, yeah. Hmm. Uh, and I'm like, how do you know? I'm like, he was like, no, when, you, when I got on your booking, I thought it's you. But then I'm like, let me confirm by actually going there. Yeah. I'm like, how do you really know? Hmm. Like, you know, I mean, that would be like, how do you know? Hmm. Uh, then that's why he said, no, no, I'm a student of Christ University. And yeah, I mean, I've seen your videos in college. And, uh, you know, everybody is a big fan. I'm a big fan of you. And uh, you wouldn't really make a message on Instagram when I got into, like, thanking you. And I'm like, Achha, yeah, then. And the other thought, like, in the mind, is like, Achha, like, what's your story? Like, I'm like, you have to have to do a plaza, so for Gala, like, you know, what's like, family, family, this, that, whatever. And I'm like, I'm doing it totally out of passion, yeah, the exams, those things, college, and I'm like, for you. And I keep doing this, I'm good, teach a country, because I need people, I make a path for myself, and then it's great, I mean, any job, like, three, or three, and then Bombay, so I keep doing it, yeah. And I was just like, wow, like, Okay. what level people are at and uh, he, so, so much maturity to say it, right? Like, like you know, they try hiding it off, like, and then he gets up, but yeah, and, 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 and this guy just started out with such an amazing joke, like, positive energy. And I was like, yeah, but I was like, yeah, but I was like, yeah, I was just fascinated by that. Bad things, bad things. Jaya, good college, maybe you are actually doing. Your teacher, you can't do. Your teacher, you can't do. And all that is happening. 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 People shy from Kerala. I am a college student. I am a little bit of a cafe coffee. 
but people do it and this is where india is headed for sure when mm-hmm. i mark my words mm-hmm. i guess from now every college student will be doing some of the other odd job mm-hmm. and you will find it like level in india going very high so you know whether it's a starbucks or a ccd or a rapido or whatever else you may call it they can be sara way and i was just amazed by this yaar it just felt so warm like you know how how hum log college mein kaise the and how these people are making most of every single minute opportunity and correct so great yaar very good experience great great and and uh, have you have you come across any any such similar instances where uh, you know while while you're on the way someone has identified you and you no know, are there any other stories similar stories coach yeah yeah it it just happens a lot i mean touch wood that's great because i've been doing it for quite some time now and uh, specifically in bangalore uh, mm-hmm. you would just see like you know people coming across for mm-hmm. club wagera mein or around that kind of area uh, mm-hmm. if i'm going to show some sudden come for is i was also um, mm-hmm. more or less like, uh, you know first date kind of a scene mm-hmm. with uh, someone and we were in chingloons in for uh, mangala mm-hmm. and suddenly four five cries to people half lead drunk or full lead drunk are uh, you are coach khanna right teri wajah se main college mein aaya aur main dikha pata ke tune mujhe and that girl is getting paranoid like ye kya ho raha hai and she just taking her camera out and she is recording it all that and uh, and i'm just like yeah guys and this is a chatro ki aaj jo jo thode zyada drunk hai wo to pure pagal hai tere karan college mein ye ho raha hai wo ho raha hai and this and that and like yaar main to bahut sare colleges mein lag chuka hu yahan pe kyun gaya and he's like nahi yaar tune pata hai nahi tha ki itna strict college hai yaar ye to bahut maar ke rakhte hai this and that like nahi yaar maine pata hai like you know it's just i wish i would have been paid to not tell that but i am not being paid to tell about like good part bad part of everything and then the others are like no 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 yeah, yeah we get it and you know uh, but, but thank, thank you so much we watched a lot of your videos and then this that this girl is still paranoid it's just the baby is still both and i think like, it's, it's very normal you know when you were in college and you get it's a, it's a human thing right wherever you are you hate that part of your life so when i was at like, ui i absolutely hated it when i was in college i absolutely hated that ye teacher wo this that but once you grow out of it you start to realize the value of it so i mean whenever any college like i can't pass it yeah and i was like you do like first year like i did not force you to watch this like pure khud karte baith ke dekhi and nowhere else that yaar idhar hi apply kar but it is like if you do that i don't mind it honestly because few years down the line you still will end up like you know uh, thanking me that happens a lot as well then people who come and try to help yeah thank you so much because of you i met like my friends and family members and like you know build up such an amazing connection so this is part of the journey so yeah it happens a lot yeah but i'm super thankful like it just feels so somebody is coming taking a picture with you uh, this is better of catch here yeah. this is like kya kar diya like great 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 coach uh, great great uh, hearing uh, you know from from you from all like about all your stories and uh, yeah. uh, again just just a similar question again uh, when was the first time you know you saw someone coming to you you know identifying ki acha theek hai are you coach or something like that uh, yeah, you... that, that was uh, that was that was 2022 only my I first was. shoot that i did offline mm-hmm. uh, was for this college called alliance university mm-hmm. and uh, and jaise alliance mein gusa matlab it's not that ekdam se log bhage bhage aa gaye aisa nahi hoga but suddenly you would see logo ki like turn their to like you know very few people like mm-hmm. the guts ones or like they come and actually walk up to you but the others will just start talking like mm-hmm. apne dost se kaha tha yaar wo ye na kisi se dekha tha video acha wo ye na kya naam hai dost se dekha tha naam hai naam hai yaar ye wo that such a thing suddenly like the aura wherever you walk it changes and yeah. then one or two people will pop you and like bhai yaar ki video dekh ke then others say ha humne bhi dekh liya and all of that so but the baat se journey has happened but yeah that was like from the first time because i like i walked it in office for two years after creating it like you know two years creating content from my home this and that and those are baad mein nikla so i could see the impact of that already great great coach uh, so such such interesting stories and uh, yeah, as as we so as as i think we've almost uh, completed an hour over here so right. i'd like to ask you know any any uh, final conclusions or any any say uh, advice you would have uh, could be for freshers or for job seekers or people you know wanting to pursue their passion do you have any you know final piece of advice for them Yeah, yeah, I think mean, not, not an advice, but like how our thing, uh, you know, is titled "Passion and Paychecks." Mm-hmm. I think people should really focus on that. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you focus on the first part, second will automatically follow. 
So, so yeah, yeah, just keep hustling and keep writing as if uh, everything else will happen. Great, great. Thank you so much, uh, Kavach. So, I just end this stream and thank you everyone for joining in. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot. Take care. Take care. Bye. 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 Yeah. So I've ended.